Linux commands for Tamox Android users. Ensure that you have Tamox installed. You want to I have mine installed already, but you can go to Play Store. Go to Play Store and look for an app Tamox. And you see, I have mine installed already. Just click install and you're good to go, but I'll just open mine straight away. So this is the same interface that you're going to be getting. Um, I would advise that if you are doing this for the first time that you update the references and upgrade the package versions. How do you do that? Just pkg, pkg update. I'll pass the Y flag just in case I'm supposed to provide. Um, okay, so okay, very good. So now to update the app versions, pkg then upgrade you pass the white flag flag again very good now that we have um, an upgraded version of um pa the packages we have so we can go into the linux commands themselves so the first set of commands that we're going to be checking out are system info commands commands that are, are related to system information and the first one we are looking at is uname okay and this is going to be showing the os type so uname you see, I'm getting Linux, okay? But um, let me pass the um, A flag, you name, then now pass the A flag. You're going to be getting more information about the um, f the full system details, okay? So if you want to get the current username, the current user, the username of the uh, current user that is logged into the system, you can use the command who am I. You see, this is the user that is currently logged in to this particular system now we move on to file and directory commands commands that are particular to file and directories so the first thing you want to we want to, the first one we will be looking at is how to show the current directory so use pwd you get the current directory that we are working on you can see the current directory we are working on then if you want to list out um, files and folders that we have in this current directory that we are working on just ls you see, just um, on your end, I doubt it if you will see any file here, but um, I've done some things on this um, Linux before, so that is why I'm getting this to um, this file and this folder. So moving on, I, if I want to get more details, I can do something like um, ls, then I'll pass the l flag, okay? I'll get more details, like the file permissions, the user, the owner, and all that. So if I want to show hidden files, I can use ls, then I'll pass the a flag, okay? So you can see the hidden uh, files that we have, Python history. Like I said, you won't be getting Python history on your end. It's because I've done one or two things on this particular Linux installation. So that is it. If I want to create a new folder, I can use the mkdir command to make a new folder. I can just say test, or let me use um, new folder. That is to create a new folder, mkdir. If I list out what I have, you can see I now have new folder as part of the folders I have. So that is how you create a new folder. If you want to change directory, you can use the cd command to change directory. For example, I might want to navigate into the new folder I just created without any files. So I can just say um, cd, then new folder. So you can see. It's an empty folder. If I want to go back to the previous directory, the parent directory, I can do something like this. CD then, you see, it has taken me back to the parent directory. So that is it basically. If I want to create an empty file, um, let me CD back into new folder. So LS, it's an empty folder. If I want to create an empty file, I can use touch, touch. Then I will create the file name, for example, file.txt, ls, you see, I have file.txt. It's an empty file, so I can't really do much with it at the moment. So now let's um, do a bit of file editing. I'm not going to be using any text editor. We have, um, I have another tutorial where I'm going to be explaining how to use text editors. But for now, we are just going to be doing a bit of file editing using the echo and the um, and the cat command. So if I want to print text to the terminal, I can just say echo, echo, then I'll, no, sorry. 
I'll bring in the string. So echo hello hello terminal. So hello terminal. Then you see hello terminal is what I'm having. Okay. So now I might want to echo into a file that is existing. Okay. I can decide to echo into a file in append mode or in overwrite mode. So if I want to overwrite an existing file, for example, I have file.txt. I can come here and do something like this. Echo then hello. And I want to echo it into I'm just use this arrow right um, symbol file.txt. You can see that it is the same file. ls so let me try to use the cat command to check the content of the file.txt. So file.txt. You see, I'm getting hello. So let me do a bit of modification now. Instead of doing hello, let me do word this time. So just go to the end and ls you see i'm still having file.txt now cat file.txt you see i'm having word now that is to show you that i've changed the content because i echoed word into file.txt in overwrite mode but if i want to do it in append mode okay i can do something like this in append mode so just um hello world let me do word of Linux okay now now instead of using one arrow right I can use two so the two is going to be appending whatever I want to echo this time into the existing um, content of the file so I can now do something like cat file.txt come to the next line you can see world of Linux so you can see how to use the um, overwrite mode and the append mode to add content to your um, empty text file so that is what we are going to be doing for um, under file editing for now then we have file management commands the file management commands we are going to be treating three so the first one is the cp command we used to copy a file so I can do something like um, cp file.txt and I want to copy it into maybe backup.txt okay then come to the next line ls you see backup.txt file.txt if I do something like cat backup.txt you see I'm having word of Linux okay because I copied everything that was there so now we have the mv command that can be used to move a file or to rename a file okay to uh, move a file or to rename a file so let me make mkdir maybe um, demo folder okay so ls now i have backup demo folder and file.txt so let me start by um, renaming um, maybe backup.txt okay to current.txt so to do that just mv backup.txt current.txt okay then ls you see it is no longer backup.txt it is now current.txt moving on cat just to be sure that um current txt ls you can see world of linux so this works fine now let me move this current txt into the demo folder how can i do that mv current txt now i'm going to be specifying the folder i want to move it um, into demo folder and the demo folder now i'm going to be i have to pass in this so ls you see, I'm not having current.txt here anymore, but if I should cd into demo, okay, I can actually check demo folder. So from here, I can just specify ls, then demo folder. It will give me the content in demo folder. So that is it. Now, um, we have the rm command that you can use to remove a file or to remove a folder. If you want to remove a file, let me do um, ls demo folder 
no cd demo folder actually so ls you see i have current.txt so if i want to remove if i want to delete current.txt rm current.txt and if i should ls once more you can see it's an empty folder now let me go back one step and ls once more you see i'm having demo folder so let me use the same rm command to remove demo folder so rm then demo folder um, no i'm supposed to pass the r flag so rm pass the r flag then demo folder okay so ls you see the demo folder isn't there anymore so some other commands that you are going to be needing for um what you want to do um some other commands can be clear command to clear the terminal okay if you want to clear the terminal you can see the clear is clearing the terminal if you want to get the date the current date you can do something like date and you can see this is the time when i'm recording this video as at this moment so if you want to get the history you can do something if you want to view the command history you can do something like history so history you can see the last 50 commands the last 50 commands that i have all the commands that we have been running so far actually you can see them package updates a package upgrade you name you name pass the a flag and you can see everything that we have been doing since everything that we have been doing so that is it basically then if you want to close the tamox uh, app you can just use exit no exits to to close the app and you can see my tamox is is closed so that is that is it basically for this tutorial for the full linux tutorial for android users using tamox check this video the link is in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. See you in the next one. Bye for now.